Hi, oh, this is um, CCNA interview questions and answer sessions and um, in this video we are going to discuss uh, the topics and the question and answers related to the TCP interview questions. Okay, the transmission control protocol. The very first question of this uh, video is uh, what is TCP? So TCP, we all know that TCP is a transmission control and protocol it means control um, means the transmission of a packet so the data in the control way is a transmission control protocol so fine so what is tcp so tcp is a basically it is a connection oriented protocol or we can say it is a reliable connection oriented protocol this means that before any data transfer uh, can take place a certain parameter has to be negotiated in order to establish a connection so we say that it is a tcp connection and <coughs> the we will come across uh, another type of a protocol that is a UDP uh, protocol. Uh, these uh, TCP and the UDP are uh, network layer protocols. Both are uh, okay. So um, they are basically reliable, reliable um, and unreliable uh, in nature. TCP is a reliable in nature and the UDP is unreliable in nature. So the me meaning of a reliable is that uh, that before sending any data to the destination, uh, TCP protocols means it uses a certain um, uh, certain protocols, certain uh, negotiation, it sends some data, some uh, parameters to the destination and it uh, maintains uh, a relationship with that or it can, we can say that it maintains a connection firstly before sending any data. So we can uh, say that it is a reliable connection. So um, the next question is, explain TCP three-way handshake. Oh, what is three-way handshake? Okay, the, as the name, it is a three-way, like it is not a like uh, firstly tcp is uh, three way meaning of a three way is like a firstly p uh, firstly tcp is initiating a process uh, it, send, it it sends the message uh, to the destination and in response to that uh, message and in uh, the destination uh, sends back that message uh, to the tcp uh, before uh, means with acknowledgement okay fine so this is the first step our and this is our second step uh, and uh, then after that the tcp receives that message and it uh, says this okay fine so he, he you sent me that acknowledgement and then tcp what uh, does it uh, again sends uh, a thank you message to the destination that okay fine i'll um, initiate our uh, communication and uh, it is the third step. So in this way the establishment between or we can say a connection between the uh, source and the destination is established. So this is a three-way handshake in a layman terms or we can say in a simple terms. So uh, what is written here we will see uh, one by one. So <coughs> explain TCP three-way handshake process. Okay. So for reliable connection the transmitting device first establishes connection oriented reliable system. Okay, uh, which its peer system, okay, which is called three-way handset. Data is then transferred. When the data transferred is uh, finished, fine, connection is terminated and a virtual circuit is shut down. So this is a three-way handset. So we will see a uh, step by step here. In the first part of the three-way handset, firstly, what source sent TCP synchronization segment with the initial sequence number x let's zoom x indicating the desires to open the connection it sends a synchronous segment to the destinations to open a connection so uh, that the tcp can communicate so that the source can communicate with the destination in the second part what does the destination do a destination receives a tcp synchronization it acknowledges uh, with this acknowledgement x plus one as well as its own synchronous uh, syn synchronization y and it informs source what sequence number it will start its data with and will use in a further messages okay so this response is called synchronous and acknowledgements okay in third part source send acknowledgement y plus one the y plus one here y is the destiny uh, the y is that the it is sent by the destination so y plus one segment to the destination to indicating that the connection is a setup and data transfer can then begin okay during this three-way handshake device are negotiating parameters like a window size etc okay so this is a basically a three-way handshake of a tcp it is a very famous 
and uh, basically it is uh, for the reliable connection establishments between the source and the destination process okay so uh, next question is what does a window size indicate window size indicates that the maximum size of bytes or we can say maximum size of a message uh, we can send from source to destination in a one time okay so the maximum size is like a 16 bit and it is a 16 bit window fill which indicates the number of bytes 16 bytes actually uh, in a one time we can send 16 bytes okay uh, what is the purpose of a rst bit or reset bit when the connection is not allowed by destination uh, connection is a reset what is tcp flags or uh, tcp flags are uh, used to influence the flow of a data across a tcp con connection so um, the what are the uh, various flags of a tcp the first is a push second is a reset third is a finish and the fourth is a urgent and then acknowledgement and then synchronize so uh, push a uh, psh it pushes the buffer data to the receiver application okay if the data is to be sent on an immediate basis we will push it what is reset it resets the connection uh, what is the finish flag do uh, it finishes the session okay it means no more data from the center and what, is, what does the urgent flags do it is used to set the priority to tell the receiver that this data is important for you and then the acknowledgement all the packets after synchronization packet sent by the client should have this flag set okay or uh, acknowledgement equal to 10 means host has received 0 to 9 and is expecting by 10 next and synchronization uh, it initiates a connection it synchronizes the sequence number okay so our well, next question is uh, what is the difference between push and urge flag or uh, urgent flag so the psh means a push flag in the tcp header informs the receiving host that the data should be pushed up to the receiving application immediately in the urgent flag used to inform a receiving station that a certain data within the segment is urgent and should be prioritized okay fine so these this is the difference between a push and a urge flag now the next is what is the difference of the sequence number and acknowledgement number sequence number it is a 32 bit field which uh, indicates the amount of a data that is sent during a tcp session okay fine so by a sequence number center can center can be assured that the receiver received the data because the receiver uses this sequence number as the acknowledgement number in the next segment it sends to acknowledge the received data when the tcp session starts the initial sequence number can be any number in the range of 0 to 4 to 94 or 967 to the acknowledgement number it is used to like uh, acknowledge the received data and it's equal to received sequence number plus one so this is the interview questions of the tcp um okay fine so we will discuss our next uh, interview questions uh, next topic in the next video thank you